guys, it's the Kevster here, and today I will be making a coding tutorial for Bucket on scoreboards. And the way I'm going to do this is um, I'm going to have it so it sets their scoreboard in the join event. So public void on oops on join player join event e so we'll do that import those and then i'm just going to check if it's my name so it doesn't mess up any other plugins so if uh, actually um player p equals e dot get player and then we'll just do if p dot get name um equals my name kevin awesome and we'll just have a method called update scoreboard. Actually, I guess we'll just do set scoreboard. Set scoreboard. And it will take a player. I guess that in this case it would be P. But first, we have to actually make this method called set scoreboard. So we can just do public void set scoreboard. And this will obviously take a player that we will call P. And here, um, when you're making a scoreboard, you have to use the scoreboard manager. So I will create a variable for that. So scoreboard manager sm equals bucket dot get scoreboard manager. Then we have to import from org dot bucket. And then of course we have to make the actual scoreboard. So scoreboard um, board equals sm dot get new scoreboard. So this will create a new scoreboard. And then um, we have to uh, always import from org dot bucket. And then we have to um, create an objective, I believe. So yeah, an objective is like where you determine to show the scoreboard. For example, on the side of your screen below player's name, etc. So you would just do objective. I spelled that wrong. Objective. Um, we'll just call it obj <laughs> equals board dot register uh, new objective. And here we're going to put test and dummy. And what this is, is um, it means we can customize the scoreboard to our liking basically. There are other criteria for these. Um, I think I'll, I'll link that criteria in the description show, but you can do like kills, deaths, things like that. But now let's set um, where we want to see the objective. So objective.set display slot. And the display slot is where we're going to see it. So sidebar, player list, and below name. So we're just going to do sidebar for the sake of the video. And then we can set the display name. You can use chat colors, but I'll just make it bold. And I'll, um, not and I'll, uh, I just want to make it bold. Because, <laughs> actually, I can just do that. Um, and then it will be, uh, YouTube is cool. And we can import chat color from org.bucket. YouTube is cool. And that's all fine and dandy. And now we can create scores, because this is just what will be displayed at the top of the sidebar. But there's nothing under it right now, so um, we can do score s1 equals um, obj dot get score. And this is deprecated. But I like to use it, so you can just do chat color dot uh, aqua. Why not? Plus um, scoreboards are cool. I think. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 4. Yeah, I think that's too long. So um, we'll just do cool boards. For scoreboards, I don't know. So that's gonna basically create a new score, but it's not gonna actually be there yet. So we can just do we have to do our s1 dot 
set score. And this, um, the higher the number, the higher the name will be on the scoreboard. So keep that in mind. So we can just set this as 10, why not? But that, will, that means we'll only have one score. So let's let's have two. So score s2 equals obj dot get score. And we'll just do check color dot gold plus um, cool board version 2.0. And then, so that's good. We can do s2 dot set score. Um, nine. So this will be below it. And then now that we have that, we need to do p dot set scoreboard. And then um, we have to do board. So then this will basically. Um, I'll explain this whole block of code. So we're going to get the scoreboard manager from bucket dot get scoreboard manager. And with the scoreboard manager, we can create a scoreboard, which we will name board. So scoreboard manager dot get new scoreboard. And then um, every scoreboard needs an objective, but when you register it, it can have different criteria. Uh, a custom one will be test dummy. And you can set the display spot, display slot, the display name, and the scores. And then finally, you just set their scoreboard. So now you can come back up here. We can do set scoreboard p and then that should work we registered our events now i just got to make the plugin.yml name scoreboards version oh 1.0 main is looks like it's oh boy com dot the kevster dot youtube dot scoreboards dot scoreboards quite the long thing there and then author is of course me we can save that refresh it so we don't get an error when we export export of course and then uh, it will call it YT for YouTube scoreboards. All right. Now I'm going to put this on the server and I'll get back to you when I join. And we're back. Um, this is the moment of truth. This is my server here. And I'm going to join it and hopefully it should set my scoreboard. And it worked. Good, good, good. So, um,. Yeah, that, thanks for watching this tutorial. It's how to successfully make scoreboards. Um, yeah, YouTube is cool. So if you leave a like, or if you if you liked it, please leave a like. And if you want to see more, then subscribe. I will try to do my best for continuing to make um, bucket plugins. If you want to see um, if you have a suggestion, I should say, then please comment in the sections below, comment sections, and I will attempt it, or not, or not, I don't know, it's a, make it a good suggestion. <laughs> and yeah, thanks for watching, and please leave a like if you liked it, and subscribe. <laughs> Bye.